Okay guys, welcome to the personal property tour for 1 Castle Street in St Monans. This is an amazing three bedroom, two reception, extended to the rear, mid terrace property, uh, right round the corner from the beach, the harbour, the five coastal path, along the road from the open water tidal pool as well. Lots of amenities on your door, doorstep in the St Monans village. Um, perfect location as well for a family, because it's at the end of a cul-de-sac. So here we are here as we come in Castle Street from the top there at the roundabout and then we come into the cul-de-sac here and this is the property right in front of you here. So we've got great off-street parking, possibly even get three cars in there, possibly even get four cars in there to be honest, because um, it is a real good size. You've got a pen to the side um, to get access to the rear garden to get bins in and out. Uh, now, as we come in the front door, what I like most about it straight away, you've got a place for your cloaks in here if you want, a cupboard. And then we'll go into the hall. Now it's actually a really nice welcoming hall in here as you come in. Plenty of space. We're going to pop upstairs and see the three bedrooms first. We've got a wee surprise up there as well. Three bedrooms first as we go up. A lot of natural light coming in through that window. And then we'll see the bathroom as well. So up there, access via Ramsey Ladder is another, effectively another attic room. Uh, so you can get up there the Ramsey ladder, it has a Velux window. You can basically sit at that window and you can see the sea, no bother in the boats. Um, so it's an ideal location. It might be potential to convert as well, to make a three-storey townhouse, but that's subject to necessary permissions. Okay, double bedroom to the side here. So a good sized double bedroom, overlooking the front. And we've just come in. So plenty of space around the corner there. And again over here you've got storage in the hall. A double cupboard, often to the bathroom. It's a good sized bathroom. And you've got a shower over the bath. Electric shower. And over to the next bedroom. And the great thing about this bedroom, wall to wall mirror wardrobes. Well, plenty of storage in here. And again, overlooking the front, the sun is out and it's beating down. But we'll see that out the back. And then another double bedroom. A couple of visitors in here. Need to be quiet. In here, another double bedroom. And the great thing about this one, you've got TV area to the side, cupboard, and you've got your mirror wardrobes as well. And then that's the window to the rear. Okay, let's pop back and we'll have a look at the hall as we're walking through in the upper landing. And again back down the stairs. Now we're going to go to the right hand side here. And we're going to pop into the dining room. So, dining room to the front. Got that beautiful ornamental fireplace. Off to the rear of here. Good size window to bring in natural light as well. A really good space. We'll just have a look from this angle. You can see the depth of that. You can see that's a eight seater table there. Comfortably fits and you've even got an office area to the rear there. And then pop off into the kitchen open plan to the lounge. So a good size kitchen here. And then you've got the lounge to the rear. We're going to have a look at the kitchen first. So we've got the kitchen. You've got space for your dishwasher, your sinks, ergonomically placed as well. Your microwave space and you're also your double oven built in. freestanding American style fridge freezer, a space for that. Now that cupboard actually is a good size walk-in larder. So again, a lot of good space in here. And then you've got a doorway out to the side if you want, but we're also going to go through the other side to the laundry first. I'm going to look at like in the laundry. So space for dining table as you can see there. So it, it just shows you the sheer size of this because you've got that three seater and you've got a, a seat right across that back wall area there. So good depth to the here, uh, going out to these patio doors to the rear. You've also got that skylight actually to bring in a lot of natural light into this area. Um, that's actually something I didn't notice. Um, it's actually really good. Um, that's why it's probably really bright in here. 
um, to the rear and then I'll just walk back and let you see it from this angle right to the back and then off into the laundry so to the side there's space behind that door as well you've got that condenser boiler on the wall space for your washing machine and your dryer and your sinks there and then the great thing about this is it's got a WC to the rear here um, big enough to be honest it potentially potentially you could possibly put a shower in there if you really wanted to depending uh, ideal we've got dogs something like that some people actually shower their dogs down before when, before they take them into the house with their feet and everything I've seen that done recently at the loan in Anshirla where they had a shower for the dog um, okay to the side here now we have a space for your bins and then we're going to walk out the back but you can see the sun is glorious look at that I'm going to have to take my glasses off because they'll go dark immediately but look at that it is glorious out here if I could if I could give you that feeling that you get with just a sun beating down and the great thing is you've got a lot of privacy here uh, from these you know the trees over there and then the fence is high enough as well and then the trees over there so you've actually got a real good amount of privacy but you've even got a real good amount of sun coming in here as well a real sun trap absolute sun trap you've got that patio area for if you're wanting to uh, sit and have barbecues and that out in the open you've also got that sheltered bus stop area if you don't want to just take a wee shelter in case the, the rain comes on or anything like that and then you could still continue with your barbecue according to Weber uh, barbecues they say the Scottish weather is the best weather for barbecues because the moisture in the air and then as well we have the rear of the property you can see that big extension it was built on to the rear here and then that gate out to the side and then there's also the timber shed so I'll just give you one last look from the shade here stand in this wee bit of shade give you a better look at this all the way around you can see the depth and you can see these beautiful blue skies in the background there God, amazing um, if you, listen check out the drone tour as well in here if you, the drone tour will be on here to show you how, how close this is to the, the beach and the harbour and the Fife Coastal Path, the open water tidal pool, the salt pans uh, right round the corner from the shops and amenities as well and cafes and bistros um, and let's finish off here okay as you can see three bedrooms two reception mid terrace villa potential to extend you never know and also you've got this beautiful back garden and the proximity where it is in terms of the coastal path the beach the harbour and everything else that's on your doorstep a real lifestyle choice here ultimate family home i would say uh, really great for a family because it's in a cul-de-sac as well so not a through road for anyone only the people that live here um, and off street parking to the front so there's more details in this post you can click on the link above or below, side or different, or the either side, depending on what, what medium you're on, you can click on that link and get more information. If you need to contact us, you can message us direct on this post, or you can call us on 01333 421 774. And until next time, guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.